Welcome to Catch Course Plays Mother 3. My name is Bobby. My name is Kevondre. And we have grinded up a bit. Uh, let me show you. Let's see. Last time we were at level 16, now we're at level 20. Whoop, whoop. So we actually have stuff. It's great. We have stuff. Right? Uh, side abilities, we unlocked life up beta. So we can restore twice as much health. We got defense up alpha 2, which is nice. So that's cool. And as for the goods, I got a whole bunch of more of these big city fries and burgers because those little bitty greedier mice, which are apparently the best thing to grind on, drop the hell out of these. So that's awesome. Hell yeah. And then this guy, because I was fighting so much, managed to save up some DP, you know, as it is, <laughs> and got some, uh, got some pencil rockets as well as recommended. All right. So now do we have the tips? Because it's been like a week since I played. Yeah. I just remember pencil rockets. Pencil rockets supposed to fly. So, um, you want to use PK booty, 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 booty until the, dr the guitar and the drum are out of the way. Have Boney use healing items as needed, or uh, ace, I guess. Uh, once they are gone, you can focus on the base. It can increase its offense and do double attacks, so take it down quickly. Have, Luke, have Cactus use normal attacks, and have Ace use any pencil rockets or other offensive items you have. Be sure to keep your HP high. All right. Now, uh, we did do a save state here. We don't know what you're talking about. Right. I know we don't know what we're talking Magic. about. Magic. But we did it. So yeah. hope you're not going to see me like walking all the way back. All right. So uh, let's get this started. Rally. Rather old snare drum. Can I go down there and see? No. Nope. No? Okay. That's the whole point. Once you finish off this guy, you can go down there. No, I was trying to say hi to the guitar. Oh, no. All right. On the gas, uh, you can keep coming here a million times, and I'll just make you cry a bazillion times. <whistles> yeah, I don't remember what the voice was, so I went Italian. Sure. Look at that motherfucker's face, though. Yeah, very Italian. He's got the, like the whole mustache thing going. It's great. All right, so Sai, we got that booty, 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 and I don't need to heal right now. So let's see. Let's go ahead and do a pencil rocket. Bam, bitch. Damn. So Jam session attack, where it does massive amounts of damage and it's a pain in the ass and I hate it. It is dumb. <laughs> Dead gleeter. Dead drum. That's how we do. Time right. to kill off the base, <laughs> which is the most important part of the band. All right, so really it's time to heal. <laughs> And we're going to use some fries. <sighs> I think I, I did that fucking Adventure Time thing last time, so I probably shouldn't do it this time. The what? Daddy, why did you eat my fries? Here. It's a song from Adventure Time. I'm going to do the booty again. And I'm going to do the Who doesn't want to do the booty again? I'm going to do the pencil rocket again, because I want this asshole to die. The uh, Pen 15 rocket? Yeah. Hey, you should write pen 15 on your hand. Oh, do we have a pen? No. Well, how am I supposed to do it? He says shit like that all the time. He's like, oh, do we have the tools to do it? No. Just, well, then maybe go fuck yourself. Just cut it into your hand, then. No. <laughs> You've got, like, a knife right behind you. I uh, Yeah, I do. I sharpened it. But I'm good. <laughs> Alright, fine. Don't carve pen 15 into your hands. People at home. Uh, homework. No. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're not doing that. If you're watching this on your work lunch break, you get out of it. Everybody, be at work when you watch this. Everybody dance now. <laughs> he yeah. just kind of like moved his arms in a gyrating fashion. Like I'm sitting on the a, controller. I'm sitting like on a chair backwards. Okay, what do you expect me to do? Okay. He's a hip motherfucker. I, I can't do the whole little full walk thing. If you're sitting in a chair backwards, though, you need to have a hat on backwards. Uh, but I have the damn headphones That's on. That's true, but you can have the headphones over your hat. That's just really uncomfortable. But now you've got too much hair. That's true. I do have a lot of hair now. I have discovered uh, that hats are for people without hair. Or, like, if you've got, like, an afro, you can perch that shit on top of your hair, and it looks it looks boss. It does look boss. But whenever I wear a hat, I want to kill myself. 
So, that was easy. Yeah, I think I leveled up a bit bit much. I'll take it, though. Yeah, that's how I play RPGs. And we're just about done with the attic, which is great. And that's the most frustrating part in this game. So everything from here on out is smooth sailing. Nice. And we leveled up. Now, when I say smooth sailing... Are you talking about actual sailing? No, I wish. I mean, we are on an island, but... Um, this was the part that I remembered was a pain in the ass. That doesn't mean that there's no other pain in the ass in this game. Oh, okay. And there's lots of people here, so we're gonna do lots of fun horses. What took you so long? Anyways, I just finished explaining everything to the band members. Alright, so come here, little froggy. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta squeeze right through you guys. <laughs> Right, let's get some DP stuff. Oh man, look at all that DP. We're gonna save, because I don't want to do that boss fight again. That's a good plan. And you know what? You know what? Just in case, hold on, you guys aren't seeing this mouse. You know, you don't you don't see anything. Let me just... No, we're not selecting the save state or I anything. I have no idea what you're talking about. Right. You don't see any of that. 100% legit, right there. Okay, let's talk to, uh, let's talk to Afro here. Tandagosa. Who are you? He's the one I was talking about just now, Dresden. You two know each other. Dresden? It's sure that I don't even remember my real name. But I've lived my life as lucky for years now. I don't think you're going to want to stick with that voice, man. This one isn't really that hard unless I do that real deep rumbling years thing. Mm, okay. But, yeah. I think that you just had a regular voice for him before. Did I? Yes. Do we, do we want to switch to that? He's a main character in this game. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, Lucky. I hate to ask, but you, could you tell him everything you remember, too? Yeah, all right. I can definitely tell that something very important is taking place here. I had absolutely no memory whatsoever from before I came to Club Titiboo. I had no idea who I was, where I came from, or where I was going. If Bobby woke up without his memories in a place called Club Titiboo, I don't think he'd live. He'd leave either. Right? That's yeah. I mean, so good, but yeah. But for some reason, I was clutching a strange egg with great care. Same. That would seem to be a reason to lose your memory. Uh, Can I offer you a nice egg in this trial? <laughs> I was about time? to say that. <laughs> I had an itch. I don't know where I was going, yet I continued to walk desperately with my egg. All I knew was that the egg was really important for some reason. I knew I absolutely had to keep it safe. So I looked for a place to hide it. It's in my base. <laughs> and then after walking and walking, I buried the egg inside a big dirt clod in a va valley where I knew no one would ever find it. Dude, that's not the best. It's the best. Beats the rest. I still know where it is. I haven't forgotten. You go up a cliff near a giant waterfall. And... Dot, 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 dot. Dot, dot, dot. And there's a tower with a big fucking gun on top of it? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Unknown Valley! That's it, Dresden. The egg we all worked so hard to protect is there. Let's go there right now. But am I really Dresden? Look, man, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's... <laughs> yeah. If I am this Dresden person, that means I'll have to leave the band, right? Dresden or Lucky. One of them will cease to exist after today. Right? If it turns out that I'm Dresden, what happens to the DCMC? But if I continue to live as lucky, then what was that egg thing all about? What should I do? I just can't decide. You have to decide. Of course you can't. All you can do is ask destiny. Yeah, that sounds like something the Beatles would say. Yeah! If Destiny decides it, I'll say goodbye to you with a smile on my face. Destiny, huh? Yeah, let's ask Destiny. We have a way. The same thing we've always done whenever we weren't sure what to do. Stone sheet clippers, huh? What the fuck? <laughs> Stone sheet clippers. Okay. 
Yep. This cactus fella will play stone sheet clippers with us. If he beats all five of us in a row, you'll go. This seems less like destiny and more like you really want to keep your band member. <laughs> but if he loses even once, you'll stay in the DCMC and keep on playing the bass. How's that sound? Five in a row, huh? I'm cool with that. You there. You're okay with that, right? No. <laughs> okay, well, we're ready to begin when you are. You can start with any one of us. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to guess that there's an actual way to win. Let's see. Uh, so they give you hints as to what they're going to throw. Okay. Yeah, let's just do this. Uh, we didn't have a voice for Mohawk. Let's go with Mohawk. I always wind up trying. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Let me let me reiterate here. I always wind up trying whenever I play Stone Sheet Clippers with Shimmy. All right, let's do this thing. Come here after you calm yourself down. All right, who's Shimmy? Shimmy is the the Liverpudlian. Oh, okay. Shimmy almost always starts with stone. That's up to you to believe that or not, though. Ready to go? Nope. Okay, so both both British ones are, are stone. Yeah. So that's good. For the most part, everyone always does a specific first move when playing this game. That explains why Boccio always loses to magic. You ready to go? I have faith in destiny. So, clippers, stone, stone. I seem to recall that whenever me, Magic, and our band leader played stone sheet clippers, we'd always wind up in a tie. So, stone, 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 clippers? No, no, no. Stone? The, the two British ones are the, the stone. Yeah. So you want to use sheet on them. Okay, whenever he, magic, and the band leader played. They so all end the, up in a tie. the three in the middle are in a tie. I believe magic is the blonde guy. No, that's Baccio. Right, and Baccio always but, loses but to magic. Sh oh, shimmy... Schmidt is the top guy, though. Right. Is Magic the Mohawk guy? Yes. Okay. So, so. they're both stone. So right. just use sheet on both of them. We'll get them out of the way first. Mm -hmm. Oh, God damn it! I'm Fuck, not... my bud. I went too light. Sorry, let's do a do-over. Stone sheet clippers. I lose. I lose with pizzazz. I always wind up... Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Continue. Yeah. Alright, let's do this thing. Okay, let's do it. Stone sheet clippers. Gah! I won't complain. You win. Come on and slam. So you just need to pound it with the rest of these. Let me cover them. Wasn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. We already did this anyway, though. We already did this conversation. Not this. No? Oh yeah. Let me be the last to go. After all, I am the band leader. So talk to D Dresden first. Okay. No, I'm I'm thinking this through because he says whenever he, Magic, and band leader play, they all end up in a tie. Right. Band leader just says whenever he, Magic, and Basio tie play, they always end up in a tie. That creates confusion. Oh, I right? understand. I don't think you can lose, though. Probably. Yeah, it just doesn't let you lose. Okay. Hooray. 
You ready? If I win this... Oh shit, I already forgot. It's a southern voice, right? Yeah. Lucky will stay in the DCMC. I don't that, care. I don't give a fuck, yeah. dude. Okay. <laughs> Lucky will go with you. Lucky, you cool with that? I want to trust in Destiny. If it's my destiny to go, then I'm sure he'll win. And if it's not my destiny, he'll lose and I'll stay here. That's as simple as that. Okay then. Cactus. Do clippers. I'm going to do sheep. Tom to Gossa. Alright, here we go. Stone, sheep, clippers. I see. So this is destiny. I guess Lucky probably is this Dresden guy after all. Go. Don't worry about anything else at all. I think Dresden hid the egg in Unknown Valley. Which means I have no reason to stay here anymore either. Alright. Time to get out of these girl clothes. And into some boys' clothes. <laughs> Thanks for everything, guys. Take care now. Let it play. Y'all come back now. You hear? Out of my way, damn it! <laughs> now that sounds like Jesus. <laughs> Lucky. No Dresden, I guess. You were the greatest bass player ever. I'm gonna miss you, man. I hope we'll meet again someday. I'm sure we will. Don't go forgetting the time you spent with us now, you dig? Lucky. Okay. I should go. <laughs> Squat along. <laughs> I still don't remember anything, but I'll come with you guys anyway. Okay, let's go. Score. Yay, now we got somebody who can do something. <gasps> yes. And then we'll go grab Kumatora and our party will finally be complete. For the first time ever. For the first time in forever. Saving. No, I'm sorry? Yes. All right. Ah! <laughs> I took care of the bodyguards. Yay! Let's go! <laughs> okay, that's it. And now we got the Kumatora. Um, okay. Is, do I need to explore anything here? Uh, you can a bit. Like, I mean, if you want to get more some more items from the vending machine, now you got four whole pages of slots to fill up. Uh, but we're about to end the chapter in just a few minutes here. I think that grinding was probably a good idea, just in general, even if we didn't need to necessarily do it for the base. Up. Oh. Unlock the door. Okay. Hooray. Get on the floor. Hey, look, you were in the keep out. Yeah, I was in the keep out. I was important. Okay. So, we need to leave. What is it? There's someone on the stage. What do you mean there's someone on the stage? Yo, I got lucky. It's you got, like, the two people that talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bon voyage, amigo. Oh, guy in the sky, please grant a gift to our friend who's about to set out. How much time we wasted laughing together. But guy in the sky, oh, how we love that wasted time and those helpless smiles. Bon voyage, bon voyage, amigo. Sorry uh, for singing. It's alright. <laughs> They're saying bon voyage.
All right. All the sadness. Rude. Yeah. It's like, motherfucker, don't you know Dresden can staple you? Slap at the base. Slap all the bras. So many emotions. This game does a really good job of that. It sounds like they kind of went out of their way to make it sound like they don't have a base in there. I guess they don't have a base. Nice. Tonda Gossa. Thanks, guys. It was a wig! <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> I don't feel bad for him anymore. <laughs> and nobody's shocked that he cut his hair. Okay. Sorry to keep you waiting. Okay, let's go. Maybe in the game's universe it was obviously a wig. Maybe. Let's go to Unknown Valley. But Bob Ross is not obviously a wig. True. Because he was the real deal. True facts. He was OG. Fucking, fucking Gerard had the Bob Ross skit in his most one of the most recent completions episodes, and it was fucking hilarious. Nice. Ha! Hello, I'm a frog. Shall we crud everything that happened so far? Yeah. Shall, I, shall I be crud? Yeah. Uh, yes. There we go. So, uh, okay. Opening thing. To to get you for next time. Right. Got to do a teaser. Leave you wanting more. Doesn't work with women though. You always want to make sure you give them all you got. Mm -hmm. Trees flipping me off in the background. Nice. Well, to be fair, it's you. Rude. I know. Thunder. <laughs> nice. Chapter five. Tower of Thunder, as performed by ACDC. Yeah, or the DCMC. ACDC. ACDC DCMC. Yeah. ACDCMC. There we go. It's, um. What the fuck is that thing? Golem? He shoved the egg up its ass. Yeah. And then, and then left. That looks like a living creature. That's not a. That's not a dirt clod. Damn it, Dresden. Why you gotta fuck shit up for everybody? Classic Dresden. There should be a big hole in the ground straight north of here. I think I went through it and hid the eggs somewhere on the other side. So let's head for that area first. You're saying an awful lot of I thinks for such an important egg. Such an important egg is going to be the name of this episode. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and call it for this one, you guys. Uh, let me go ahead and start off with my shout out. Mm -hmm. So, uh... I'm going to keep on theme with my shoutouts for this series for a little bit here. And I'm going to do a shout-out to an author. Um, and we've talked about him a lot, but never really did a proper shout-out until just now. And this man's name is Kevin Hearn. Uh, he wrote the Iron Druid Chronicles, and they are damn fine books, let me tell you. Um, check them out. It's, it, obviously, it's about a druid, and he's a sarcastic little piece of shit who just does what he wants. Now, to be, it's a druid set in modern day. Modern setting. day stuff, yeah. Right. It's, it, it's not like, oh, there was a forest of Glen and there was Fay all about, and there was a druid. No, it's like, hey, he runs a book and tea shop in Arizona. I look, think. I'm not going to say that there isn't any of that. There is some of that because <laughs> obviously he's a druid, and it deals like the whole fantasy and like the Fay and the, uh, and the Celtic mythology and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's really good if you're fans of like you know Dresden Files or things like that. Definitely give him. Oh, look, it's pretty darn good. Yeah, definitely, definitely good shit. I, I like Butcher's writing style just a little bit better. Yeah, no, I, I, I think overall Jim Butcher is a better author than Kevin Hearn. But I think that Kevin Hearn's Iron Druid books are, like, the second place. Yeah, I would say they're a bit easier to get into. Because for me, Dresden Files, you know, I'm, like, reading the first three and... Okay, I think that, that Iron Druid takes off quicker. Yeah. But I don't know if I would be able to physically read them. There, There's a lot of um, Irish names 
and things that you're like, I have no idea how to pronounce this in my head. Now, I think that there's like a, like a translation of how to say these names thing in the books, right? There is. Uh, but, you know, stay tuned next time for my shout out and then you'll find out why you shouldn't do that instead. <laughs> <laughs> and in keeping with the Celtic sort of theme, nice. my shout out is going to go to a band. Now, I got into a real Irish pub music scene about two years ago. Weird. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I was just, I was exploring music, and I was like, hey, I know this Irish song, this one one. That was uh, Don't Go For The One. There's a little bitty, like, MS Paint thing on YouTube that I think got taken down a while ago, so okay. I, we probably won't be able to find it. We probably won't be able to link it. But it's great, and it was so dumb, and I loved it. And that expanded, and I looked more into that band that did that song, and they actually have some really good and talented music. It's fantastic. And that band is Gaelic Storm. Not gay lick storm, like he managed to write it down on our little sheet so that way I didn't forget. Gaelic, <laughs> G A E L I C. I, I did write gay space lick space storm. Right. Which seems like a whole different thing entirely. It does. Yeah. Arguably funner. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> check them out if you're into the Irish music scene at all, or if you, have, if you don't know, then definitely check them out. They're really good. They have uh, do some team ups with some really great vocalists, great violinists, things like that. It's just good stuff. Good like stuff. It. All right, guys. We will catch you next time. Thank you so much, guys. Bye. Later, plans. <laughs>